Hi there. Well, I have to apologize right up front that I haven't been uh, keeping up with my videos lately. There's been a lot going on. Um, <clears throat> there's been a lot of my other job being pretty intense and a couple of health things, but oh, and <laughs> an elderly cat who still keeps me up part of the night. Um, she's doing okay, but it's still, you know, difficult. So I'm working on only a few hours sleep every night. Um, we kind of take turns. I get the, the middle of the night shift. Uh, my husband gets the later towards the morning shift. So anyways, um, yeah, so I apologize. And I apologize that this is yet another um, sketchbook tour because I did one last time for my LA sketchbook. But this is one that I take around the city with me. It's a Stillman Burn um, little three and a half by five, I believe. Um, I've been using these for a while and they're different series. This is a Delta series. So it's watercolor um, paper, and but it's in that creamy uh, color, which I think I didn't really look too closely at when I ordered it. I ordered it through Jackson's when they were having a sale, and I ordered a bunch of uh, sketchbooks at the time, including the ones that I took, or the one that I took to LA and to New York. <clears throat> by see white brighton anyways i don't mind the off white um it did work to some advantage in some of them as you'll see this one i started back in february and completed it in may and it's just mostly urban sketching um i think maybe there's a couple that i finished back at home um don't think well, we'll go through, but I don't think any of them I did completely at home. I have been working on doing a video for urban sketching. Um, I have a symposium coming up. I'm not um, doing any of the courses. I'm taking some of the workshops. Uh, that's coming up in July. So I wanna do a little bit of filming um, while I'm there for that to give you a full sense of what it's all about, the Urban Sketchers um, groups, and um, what urban sketching is in general. And I'm gonna do a video, some books, and some people, um, some artists whose work I particularly love, and I follow them on Instagram, and um, some of them, uh, you can take courses with Domestica, and, but I will get to that eventually i promise before the summer's out and before the the good weather is done so for once i did not do anything on the front page i usually do something but when i went to first use it i knew i wanted to do this spread uh, this was an urban sketchers meetup in union station in toronto it's our major um, train station commuter trains and um, uh, cross country and trains into the States go through here. So this is one of those instances where the cream colored really helped with this sketch because it's a very nice cream stone that's been used for the um, for Union Station. And the Urban Sketchers meetup was really great. Um, it was a beautiful, beautiful day in February 12th. Like it was unusually warm, sunny. Kind of didn't want to be inside, so I wanted to be somewhere where there's glass ceiling here so that you could get as much sun as could possibly. But um, one of the urban sketchers did a little demo beforehand, so that was nice. That doesn't always happen, so it was kind of nice. And then I did another spread. So this is up 
Um, there's a train that goes to the airport from Union Station. It's in another section. And um, I sat, there's a little coffee shop there. So I sat and did that one. This is uh, Young Street from the Toronto Reference Library, the main um, big library in Toronto. Toronto has one of the biggest um, library systems in the world. Um, this is a really neat building, but across from it are all these little uh, Victorian, I would say, maybe Edwardian time. Um, unfortunately, fortunately, there's a thing called um, facade-ism in Toronto where they retain the facades of the old buildings, but then they put a huge condo attached to it. And that's what's happened in this case. So only until a few years ago, these were stores and I'm not sure what's going into them now. So this is one of those stores and it had um, the name of the building on it. This is just a really, really loose watercolor. And then I did some of little sketches of people working at the library. That was a really, fun day and it was I think that day it was pretty cold out so it was nice to be somewhere warm and there's skylights in there too and this is um down the beaches uh on Lake Ontario there's usually every winter uh, winter stations contests where different groups um propose to do these warming stations and I'm not sure that I don't think you could walk into this one, so I'm not really sure about that. But um, this one was done in memory of, of a raccoon who died um, and brought the city together. It was during the Pan Am Games. Um, a lot of people didn't want the Pan Am Games and um, a lot of money went into it. And um, anyways, I won't go into that detail, but a raccoon had died. Um, raccoons are kind of um, a problem in Toronto. And um, somebody called it in to the city to, you know, remove the body. And um, they didn't get around to it for a while. So a little memorial grew up and somebody named him Comrade. So that's a memory of him. That was eight years ago. <laughs> But we still remember him. Uh, this was another Urban Sketchers meetup at Toronto Eaton Center. Um, I don't tend to stay in the same area. I tend to like do really quick sketches and so I do two or three during the meetups but there's so few places to sit in the Eaton Center um, that I claimed a spot and then some other Urban Sketchers joined me so I was just having a nice conversation with them which I don't normally do. And um, this is the Danforth, little shop there, restaurant, brewery here, um, some storefronts on Mount Pleasant in Toronto, inside uh, a really nice Italian, um, it's Italian restaurant, you know, chain that has a spot near us where they prepare a lot of the the goods and they have like a little wine shop and um, a little like Mercado sort of thing. This is another Urban Sketchers meetup. This was at the Gardner Museum in Toronto. Uh, this is a ceramics museum. So I did some of the cases, somebody sitting there. Um, this was a stairway up to one of the levels had a really neat um, display of modern and um, historical pottery. This was in a cafe in Toronto um, near Theatre District it's called Piccolo and Centre for Innovation. I went to um, 
and ink. There's a man, um, you know, I'll have to pop that up there. Uh, he wrote a book and there's a documentary called The Color of Ink. And it's really interesting. He forages mostly in Toronto, but all over the world for different um, things that he can turn into a dye for ink. And these are some of the ones that, there's turmeric, um, grape, this one's copper from an old, um, uh, from an old piece of copper that he's put into a solution, uh, black, so that's some of the people that were at the workshop I did little sketches of. And then after the workshop, I went to a bakery, future bakery, and sat, had a coffee and cake, and drew this building across the street from it. This is inside the future. Uh, I had a medical appointment at Toronto General Hospital, and there's a Starbucks there, so I sat and sketched there as well. There's a medical person having a chat on the phone. And this was a man at um, Pilot Coffee House in May Life Center in Toronto. And there was a beautiful day uh, at the end of March, and I sat outside the Gardner Museum this time, which is across the street from the ROM where I used to work. And they had a T Rex show on, so I thought that was kind of interesting. And I've never, I've worked there for 11 years and I never drew it, so. I thought, well, I should do that. And then there's Tori's Bake Shop down the beaches, gluten-free, um, vegan bake shop, kind of neat. I did a sketch of um, the boardwalk and the beaches. Then where's this? This is Wellington Street. Um, I believe this was, this was another Urban Sketchers meetup, which was a really cold day. Um, this was April 8th and I managed to do this. I think this took maybe about 40 minutes and then I went and, um, sat in a hotel lobby nearby just to warm up and that's when I did, um, I have it here, I believe, that's when I did this one in the King Eddie, um, King Eddie lobby. And this is in a art creation Royal Talons sketchbook that I'd also brought with me. And then the next day, this was a really good weekend. Um, we had two events. So we had one on Saturday and then we had one on Sunday. And this one was on the campus of uh, Toronto Metropolitan University. And I did a building, um, sat and did this building, and then I went to um, another area near the Athletic Center and got that one. And then this was, oh, I didn't record the date. That's weird. Um, this was a really, really beautiful day. And um, my husband was away, I had the day off, and I thought, I've been craving fish and chips. And I went to St. Lawrence Market, which is this building here. And I was gonna get fish and chips from there. I hadn't tried them before. I heard they were really good. There's a long lineup, which probably means they were good. But I thought, oh, I really wanna be outside. So there's a pub um, that's uh, right at, around the bottom of Flatiron Building. And I think have a sketch, really quick sketch of the flat iron. Yeah, that's the flat iron building. And so the pub is right here. And I sat and had fish and chips there instead. And then that way I could also have a pint of cider. And I took out my watercolor and pencils and did this sketch of Front Street at church. And then uh, there was, I think the Sunday around that time, 
I went down and um, down to the lake and there's this little park there. This is park um, nearby St. James Cathedral Park. All the tulips were out. And then this is um, a row of houses in Kensington Market. It's a really cool area of Toronto with um, all sorts of different food and um, it's just, it has a lot of history. I'd really recommend walking around on the area. And so that's a little row of houses that I sketched. I did do, added the color after for that one. Then I went to warm up because it was still a little bit cool to a cafe called Fika. And I had a um, really neat one in fog there. And they have a wall that's just all um, pages from old books or sometimes the books are uh, fixed to the wall. It was a really cool place. I hadn't been there before. And I sketched this woman with her cake box because they do really nice pastries. And then this one is, this one actually I wrote that it's from a photo and I just wanted to use up um, the last page. So that's Kensington Market from a photo that I took that day. And that tumor dye goes right the way through. I thought I might um, use that page and use that yellow to some effect, but I moved on to another sketchbook and that was started shortly after. So that's my kind of late winter, early spring um, sketchbook. And as you can see, it's Toronto because I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> so hopefully um, it's kind of difficult with our cats to be able to go places. My husband's been traveling, but I have been home and um, I think that's the way it's going to be for a little bit. And anyways, I apologize again for not having um, video up. It's been a while and um, but I promise there will be a good one for urban sketching. There might be more than one. And if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe and um, please help out by uh, clicking the like button. Uh, it really does help, especially when I haven't been posting. YouTube hates it if you're not posting regularly. So anyways, thanks again. Bye.